Can't see them anywhere. Lizard. Farm boxes though. Couldn't find the right wheels in the other store, so we came here. The sun is fully faded out, sorted out BNQ. Oh, there they are. Oh look, they they sell it with this. Can I take them? Huh? What the fuck? This is the third time this broke. I don't know what I'm doing, right? Uh, well, I don't know if it will work. <sighs> but I'm gonna try. Let's see. Oh, another one broke. Oh my days. Are you kidding me? How? But look how how easy this would be. Wow, nice. Okay, it moves pretty cool. And you can put the brake on as well. Which is pretty nice. These bits are sticking out, but I'm fine with it for now. But yeah, really happy with it. I guess you can call me Bob the Builder. It looks really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Six, 16 bit motor and you right, okay. Yeah, I tried to make it 600 DPI like yeah, you asked. Yeah. Anyway, we got back. I picked up a bunch of prints and some boxes for moving. Not for me, but let me show you the framed painting. A lot of mess here, please ignore. <whistles> Look at this. Got this framed. I mean, when I get my artwork framed, I basically ask for acrylic instead of glass because when you ship them, you don't want anything to break. And they're also lighter, so less shipping costs. But yeah, look, came out pretty cool. Oh, that's shiny here. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna put it back in this. Gonna take some pictures and just put it on my shop online, but here's the best part. So if you know, I've been creating some NFTs as well and putting on OpenSea and whoever buys an NFT, they get a print, one out of one edition print. And here's one, this is, I think this color scheme is called, I forgot, but. <laughs> Let me show you the next color scheme. I know this one is called something Midnight Shadow, I think. Yeah, that's another one. Pretty cool. And here is Peach Solid. What, by the way, all of these are printed on watercolor paper, so the texture just looks amazing. I don't know if you can see it. I'll bring it close. Can you see it? Yeah, I don't know. The video I did before, or the last three videos, I don't know, I showed one print. This is a vintage one. I 
think the green came out pretty strong. I don't mind it. I'm gonna sign them, number them. Uh, number one out of one edition, and then that's it. So there's five different color schemes. One is already sold. It's gone. I've shipped the print. And there's four left. And when sale arrives, they will go to your happy home. Yeah, that's what I've been doing today. <laughs> this is why I don't like the microphone, look what it is. done one layer of ultramarine blue look at it it's a lot of mess and that's because it's only one layer this is six to seven layers later and three hours combined if I wanted to be less layers I would have added a bit of titanium white to it to just to make the process a bit faster but I really wanted the deep blues blues in there and what's funny is that this ultramarine blue is opaque it's supposed to be like opaque color and it still took six to seven layers seven layers let that sink in it's crazy but yeah i mean at least now i can start working on the shadows and the actual painting I'm about to basically make color decisions right now. I was looking at this artist called the Obernoth. And I really like this piece she did here with like dark blues and lighter uh, subject. And I'm basically gonna do similar sort of thing. Not, uh, not pick the same exact color. She does like very different stuff. She has like different shades of color. But as you know, my work has only like three colors for each group but yeah it's gonna be like similar thing where it's like dark blue background and like lighter subject that's what I'm planning on doing and I'm gonna use this violet color add a bit of white in there make it really bright and then start painting painting the fish and to counter with that I might make the bits of the fish orange and I'm gonna try to have that theme flowing all throughout the painting and I'll use too many colors the other color I can think of is green green would probably be the wings on this bee and probably that cube over there and then these pills will have the same colors I am guessing this part might be green I don't know decisions decisions decisions
I've just finished uh, one layer of violet color and I'm probably gonna do two more layers of this but before I do that let me show you where this idea came from or how it came about so put that to side let's go in my sketchbook so here are some different sketches I have and all of these sketches you see here, I wanted to make a pattern, a Bobsy pattern I can use on different things like pictures, packaging, all that sort of stuff. And there's this one here that I made, this little sketch. And <laughs> it's just so cute and I was going through sketch, uh, my sketchbook and I was like, oh, what shall I paint next? And instead of just painting one big painting after another, I thought, you know, I think it's time to basically do something really simple and... Oh, look at that. It's violet color here as well. That's interesting. And yeah, so basically I'm taking this idea forward and turning it into a painting. That's basically how this came about. Will I make these ones in the future? I don't know. We will see. But yeah, all of these sketches have come to life in the past year or two so which is interesting that one's done that one's done and that one's done that one's done this one I might come to it that one's done as well so really cool it's nice to have a sketchbook for like ideas and stuff this is just a mess hopefully this sketch was a bit interesting you know just to see where things are coming from. I should have done this, uh, I should have finished this yesterday but I couldn't, I'm doing a lot of different things but this is how far I've gone. I have, so this is the ugly stage and now I'm gonna start adding darker and lighter values, watch how it pops. I'm keeping it very simple on this painting, look. Imagine if I just left it at this, I would, <laughs> it would have fly. But, I'm gonna start painting the green bits, the dark bits, and then dark on the orange, and then the purple, violet, and yeah, let's go.
Hello. Oh, I'm too bright. I finished the shadow parts. Added, you know, I think it's working. I think the uh, this cobalt, 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 cobalt blue looks really cool on like lighter violet color, and this is what it looks like. And my teeth got cold because I was like, it's like a little warm, but yeah. I was working, uh, I was just trying to get like shadows done for now. I still want to do another layer on this. It looks pretty good without, with just one layer, but I'm going to do another one. But, 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 when you paint for like a couple of hours, it starts to get boring. But you know what I like to do when I get bored of painting? I like to get pumped. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Before hitting the gym, I don't feel like going, I'm just like, oh man, what's the point, blah, blah, blah. And then if, once I'm finished with exercising, I just feel, <laughs> and it al always feels amazing. And you're like, you can take on anything basically, which is great. And you get like some break from painting and you come back to it with a refreshed mind and all that stuff. Amazing energy as well. Like if you're an artist, I would totally recommend you, you know, just try some exercise. You'll, you'll be fueled with energy, trust me. What else do you want to say? Look at this, I'm using this tripod now for microphone. Mm, I mean, you don't have to be a fitness influencer or anything. Just do light exercise, do some running if you want to, or just move your body around in the gym, you know. That's it. That's, that's all you need to do, and you're basically done. And when you come back, you'll be like, I'm ready to fucking steal the moon or something. But yeah. It's half five p.m. Half five p.m. It's five thirty p.m. and probably gonna shave. I think I need I need a shave. I'll probably shower as well. I will shower and then eat some food. Around I have like a habit around eight or nine. I come back to painting, and I think that's definitely gonna happen. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can possibly tonight because tomorrow I don't want to touch like well tomorrow I want to finish it so I'm gonna try to get done as much as possible like leave the highlights for next day I just like I like to dedicate the whole day for highlights not whole days like for another day like a break from painting and I'm, I get really focused when I'm about to paint highlights on those magic lines are like look that I love to paint. La, 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 la. Really excited about this painting. It's really simple. It's really elegant. I like it. I try not to do too much. And I've been painting pretty big paintings. Like, according to me, they're pretty big. I'm used to, like, about this big paintings or this big. A2, basically. And painting, like, a bit tiny now after painting bigger sizes feels quite nice. Another reason why I'm painting small painting because I think... With my next painting, I'm gonna try to paint one of the biggest paintings I ever painted. If not, there's some other cool projects I've, I have coming up. We will see. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I'm gonna finish this smoothie, freshen up, put some food in my stomach, and you know, keep painting. Painting is fun. <laughs>